Understanding how single nanoparticles interact with light may ultimately prove useful in such diverse areas as cancer treatment, light displays, steam generation, more energy efficient catalysts, and diagnostics. Stefan Link is a pioneer in this important area of nanoscience. He brings intellect, creativity, attention to detail, and hard work to the quest. I think of him as the quintessential physical chemist of the 21st century. He is a combination of a classically trained, classical thinking physical chemist, but he works on these very leading edge, interesting problems. So he's always reaching to do some new things, always reaching to probe things in new ways, and just basically be an explorer. For his research insights, love of teaching, and commitment to science, the Welch Foundation honors Stefan Link, Associate Professor of Chemistry at Rice University, with the 2015 Norman Hackerman Award in Chemical Research. I'm interested in, uh, in most general terms, uh, light matter in action. It's really an emergence field where several avenues could be of potential interest. Dr. Link works in nanophotonics, a rapidly growing field dedicated to exploring the physical and electromagnetic properties of plasmonic nanoparticles, tiny bits of metal that interact strongly with light. These particles can turn light into heat and generate excited electrons and large local fields. His goal is to better understand how to use plasmons to probe materials and initiate chemical reactions. Dr. Link's group uses single molecule and single particle spectroscopy techniques to help decipher the physical rules that explain how plasmonic nanoparticles interact with one another and with their environment. Stefan's work in plasmonics has really focused on the interaction between particles. He was one of the first people to think not only about how the plasmonics of one, of one particle is governed, but what happens if you have two particles? What happens if you have three? What happens if you have ten and you put them in a line? So you have very different behaviors depending on how one arranges the particles. Stefan is an incredibly good scientist because at this, he's of course first and foremost a chemist, but he has this amazing intricate knowledge also about physics and optics. So it's this combination, his multidisciplinary knowledge that makes him ready to handle any situation he encounters. I see Stefan being a huge success in this place between nanoscience and nanoengineering. I mean, you need people right in the middle there who are enough of a practical person to understand how to transition ideas into, into a device, but you also need people who are great scientists. Christy Landis has a unique perspective as both Stefan's colleague and life partner. The two first met over lunch when she was contemplating joining the graduate program at Georgia Tech. While they both remember Stefan being more interested in free food than in her, over the years of working in a similar area, they became first friends and then partners. It's so wonderful to be able to talk about science at one in the morning. If you have an interesting idea or if you have a problem, no one else can understand better and I think that's something that we, we help each other a lot. We can talk about every little detail and that doesn't mean that we don't argue. I think that um, it's refreshing to get an an opinion that's not filtered, that um, you can really work with. And I think that the, the best thing about Christy and I is also in work and in personal life that we make each other better every day. They are a team, I mean, uh, in every sense. They work together very well, they complement each other. It's, it's a full package. Stefan was born and grew up in a small town in Germany, the older of two boys. He loved math and sports growing up, particularly tennis and soccer. Once in college, he decided to major in chemistry. It was uh, the combination of trying to figure out a problem based on experiments or clues um, that uh, really got me excited about doing chemistry. A stint as a high school exchange student in Florida had whetted his interest in the U.S. So after college, he returned for graduate work at Georgia Tech and then postdoctoral research at the University of Texas at Austin. He joined the Rice faculty in 2006. 
I think that basic research in general is something that we will always need and, and uh, mostly thanks to the Welsh Foundation we're able to do it in Texas and I think that in addition to basic research what is needed is to tackle bigger and bigger problems. It's not always an easy task but I think that's where collaborations and thinking outside the box is really important. In pursuit of this goal, Dr. Link is involved in a number of projects with colleagues across departments and at other universities. He's incredibly generous with his time and, and he's always willing. He's an incredibly passionate scientist. His passion is so genuine. I mean, he, he solves his problems and he doesn't give up until he has the solution. He has a very broad knowledge of the field and uh, uh, neighboring fields. Um, is extremely hardworking, is clearly very bright. He has several interesting collaborations in different areas, so I think it's basically uh, very strong in many different aspects. From undergraduate classes to mentoring graduate students, Dr. Link is as passionate about teaching as he is about research. I think this is our number one job, as scholars, professors to teach. I think uh, interacting with the students, and, and both graduate students, undergraduates, is really what makes this job special. I'm teaching them to be independent researchers, uh, to go out and set the world on fire. Stefan has really taught his students to behave like the person that they're going to be next, and I was really impressed at the way that a chemist can teach PCHEM and have have the grad students sitting on the on the edge of their seats, writing things down, really completely enthralled. He's a he's a, just a remarkable teacher. Inspiring teacher, sought after collaborator, cross disciplinary scientist, Dr. Link already has accomplished much. I definitely feel that the best days of his career are ahead of him. He has this amazing set of capabilities. He's capable. Perhaps he's capable of anything. Stefan is really smart. He works really hard. He loves his work. He simply achieves at a tremendous level. So all of those things coming together um, make you sort of an unstoppable force. For his invaluable contributions to science, the Welch Foundation is pleased to recognize rising star Stefan Link with the Norman Hackerman Award in Chemical Research.